Um, first of all, I went to Google and I did a search on Picasa, P-I-C-A-S-A. I found these sites here um, and I went to Picasa, right? First one, picasa.google.com. It looks like this. And I have a choice. I can download the program to my computer. It's a good program. I recommend it. But I tried to show you the easier way by just clicking on Picasa Web Albums without even installing the program if you don't want to. And it goes here and says, well, sign in. Well, I don't have an account, let's say. So I said, create an account. So I clicked on create an account. And the first thing it did was ask me for an email address and then asked me to create a username and a password and those things. I did that and I ended up here. I had to um, run some permissions on um, uh, uploading. I just clicked on upload right here, this button right here. I did not click on launch Picasa because let's say you didn't download it. So I just clicked upload and I had to put in some permissions and say yes, do this. And then I just refreshed using the refresh button right here, uh, this refresh button, and it works. So it worked. So now I have an album. I created an album called Class Pictures. And now all I have to do is add photos. So I click Add Photos. And now it opens to my automatically defaults to my pictures uh, folder. And I can look for some pictures. Uh, so here's A plus class. And this is some pictures of uh, the classroom a couple years ago or something like that. And if I wanted to, I could just upload one of these photos. Right, and I'm not even sure what they look like. Let's see if we can extra large icons here. Got some really bad photos here from a couple years ago in computer lab. Yeah, there's some computer. So let's say I, uh, this is a thing we did in a computer class. So yeah, I'll say I want to upload this, and I'll just say hardware class. I'll retitle it and open oh wait a minute uh, I should not renamed it cancel let's try that again add photos and um, let's see here I'm looking for it a plus class let's say and there's the photo and I've chosen it and now it should upload so kinda getting a frozen signal here there we go first it was not responding there it is there's the photos and the photo is in here I could add more photos if I wanted I could add another one let's say I'll browse through my photos look for something from a class Um, I don't I don't have any pictures quite picked out right now so that's kind of um, that's kind of a problem we could have a graduation picture something like that regardless like cancel so I don't have pictures picked out yet and I'll just click upload so now it's uploading all right takes a second because internet connection here is extremely slow and um, we're having problems here and there it is so now the photo is uploaded to my web album right and um, photos by Dan there's the photo it's public computer networking lab and if I wanted to I can um, link to this album I can share this email people this photo and they can see it um, if I want to I can add a comment to the photo so I clicked on the photo and add a comment there's the photo it takes a while down at the bottom I can add a caption or a comment let's add a caption this was from a lab in um,
This was from a, fra uh, this was from a lab in the computer hardware class. Save caption. Now I've added a caption. If this was a, a painting, okay, I could put the title of the painting and the size. I could say oil painting. The title is this. Artist is this. That kind of thing. Right? If I had like a photograph of my art or something like that. Okay. And that's it. Right? My account name, my account name is dan at danscourses.com. And here is a HTTP link. This is a web address link directly to this photo. And this is how I could embed it if I wanted to embed the photo into a web page. This is an embedding link that I could do it with. I can also select uh, size here, small, medium, or large, um, that kind of thing. So a lot of different um, ways to do that, a lot of things that uh, I haven't even exp explored yet, but we will.